welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about david's jar of sweets his jar of sweets contains 30 sweets the weight of the jar and the sweets together so that's the jar and the sweets is 620 grams but david is eating 12 sweets the weight of the jar and the sweets is now 440 grams how much does the jar weigh well the first thing to do is to figure out how much weight has disappeared from the jar when his 12 sweets have gone because that's how much his 12 sweets must have been worth so if we do the 620 grams when the jar had all the sweets in take away the 440 grams when 12 of the sweets have gone we'll see what is left so zero take away zero is zero two take away four we can't do so we borrow 12 take away 4 is 8, and 5 take away 4 is 1. So basically, 180 grams has gone from the jar. But that was worth 12 sweets. So that 12 sweets must be what the 180 grams is worth. So really what we need to do is figure out what one sweet is worth. So if we do 180 divided by... 12, 12s into 1 won't go, but we haven't really used the 1 yet, so we carry the 1 to make 18. 12s into 18 goes once remains a 6, and 12s into 60 goes 5 times. So each sweet must be worth 15 grams. That's for one sweet. Now we know that each sweet is worth 15 grams, we can go back to the very first line. You've got 30 sweets. So that's 30 lots of 15 grams. So we need to figure out what 15 times 30 is. Well, when we're times in by 30, what we could just do is put the magic zero in and then times by 3. Because times in by 3 with a zero on the end is the same as times in by 30. So if we put that zero in, 3 times 5 is 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1, and 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 1 is 4. So, the 30 sweets together are 450 grams for the 30 sweets. But we get told that the weight of the jar and the sweets is 620, so if just the sweets are 450, but the total is 620, then the jar added to 450 must equal the total of 620. So if we subtract the 450 from 620, so 620 is the total and the 450 is the sweets, whatever's left must be the jar. So 0 take away 0 is 0, 2 take away 5 we can't do, so borrow. The 6 becomes a 5, and the one we borrow makes that into 12. 12 take away 5 is 7, 5 take away 4 is 1. And that's the jar. So the jar must be worth 170 grams. Final answer, 170 grams for the jar.